tube valve. Today I will show you how to prepare some combination fried rice that consists of chicken and shrimp. But before I get into the video, I would like to take a step back and say thank you to all the folks that watch my videos and took the time out and subscribe to my channel. Just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So now that I get that out of the way, I will get on to making this video. So let's get started. First of all, YouTube. after that we will move in to the next step. We would use start the preparation by adding the oil. Give it a couple of minutes to get heated. The oil that has been heated. Just let me say, if this is your first time watching my video and it's of any interest to you. You can just leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Comment, I will be able to get back to you as soon as possible. So we give this about a minute more, get, get hot, then we would add chicken, diced chicken. Here we go, diced chicken. for a couple of minutes. If you're interested in the video and the recipe you can just check on check out the description in the video and select the recipe URL live. That will take you to the PDF menu download. Next step is to add the onions. Dice or chop ginger, same as the garlic. Good. 
go ahead and just add the shrimp. Let this simmer down. Next step would be for us to add the rice. I'm not sure you also have to turn this down a bit. process is very simple. It's cooking fried rice. Your favorite. This amount I'm cooking will represent about six to eight portion. We mix these up well. You have to keep in mind when you prepare to cook or bake fried rice, you'd have to cook your rice beforehand, set it aside. Next we add salt. And the next move step would be to add soy sauce. That's about it. Now I just have to add you some coloration. And just add some corn. In this case, I have mixed veg, or you can just use the sweet peas and carrots, or anything, any vegetable of your choice. But we have a, some nice shrimp fried rice, combination fried rice with chicken and, and shrimp. If I have to cover this, turn it down real low. And let this finish the preparation of cooking. The idea would be after you leave this cover it for about a minute or two, when you lift the cover, then you should see the steam that tells you that it's ready. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please leave us a comment, 
like and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it very much. Some potato soup, fresh potato soup. You can add some bacon bits. To give it an extra touch. Or if you don't, if you don't want no meat, have it the way it is. Fresh hot potato soup.